this is a $600 jazz guitar, and this is a $6,000 jazz guitar. Today I'm discussing which one I personally like the most, as well as the age old question, does having an expensive instrument help you play music better? Might be surprised, coming on up. So whether you play sax, piano, bass, trumpet, or guitar like me, we've all wondered whether having a expensive or high quality instrument actually matters when it comes to improving as a musician. Well, I'm gonna discuss my personal experience with you and then you can go ahead and decide for yourself. So this is my $600 Ibanez Artcore AF95 guitar. It's the very first jazz guitar I ever got when I was getting serious about actually playing it and wanting to have an instrument that kind of fit the style a little bit better. So I went on down to Guitar Center and thought to myself, I'll just get an instrument that sounds good enough that will tide me over for now and that will fit my current budget, which quite frankly was not very much. So I I found this Ibanez, I played it, I thought, wow, this actually sounds pretty good. Bought it that day, took it back home, and for the next 14 years, I exclusively played this instrument. Now this guitar has gotten me through thousands and thousands of hours of practice. It's gotten me through hundreds and hundreds of gigs, and I have become a professional jazz musician playing this instrument, meaning I made my living completely off of performing and teaching jazz. So a few specs on this instrument so we can do a comparison with my other guitar. It's a maple neck, a Macassar ebony fretboard, a spruce top, Linden back in sides and Super 58 pickups. So this is a factory made guitar. It's mass produced on a big scale. Ibanez art cores are in abundance all over music stores across the United States and elsewhere. Now this here is my custom made Victor Baker 15 inch hollow body guitar. Victor Baker is an incredible luthier based out of San Diego. I first became aware of him when he had his shop out in New York City and always admired his instruments from afar. Now, truth be told, I'm really not a gear person. I really don't care about getting other instruments. That just goes to show you, I had my Ibanez for 14 years, never felt the need to change it. And in fact, it was only because of the begging of my wife, Philippia, who constantly would tell me like, Brent, you're a professional jazz musician. Like, why don't you have like a pro level instrument? And I'd always just tell her like, babe, like, listen, the guitar sounds fine. It sounds good. I don't like messing with new stuff. We could spend the money elsewhere. There's lots of other things we could do. And like, I'm getting along just fine with this instrument. But after year after year after year, she finally broke me down and I made the jump. And after nine months of of production and working with Victor, this is the instrument that came about. So a few specs on the instrument. It has a Honduras mahogany neck, an ebony fretboard, a spruce top, and maple back and sides. An important note about the entire wood used for the body of the instrument, it's all imported from Italy where traditional cello woods are sourced from. So kind of very high quality stuff we're dealing with here. And for pickups, they're Kent Armstrong pickups. So before I discuss which one I like better and whether the expensive instrument is worth it or not, let's go ahead and listen to what they sound like. So here's what my Ibanez Art Core sounds like. Okay, so for me, clearly there's a difference in the sound. This one sounds a little bit thinner, doesn't quite have as much depth or body to it. And the Victor Baker has a lot more depth and body to the actual sound. Now, an important thing though to talk about when we're talking about quality of instrument is how do they actually feel? Because 
that will really depend on preference. Now, the Ibanez is actually a much heavier instrument than the Victor Baker. This one is much lighter, and that was one of the really shocking things for me when I first picked up the instrument when it got shipped to my door was, wow, this thing is so much lighter than this guitar, which I thought was gonna be the opposite. For some reason in my head, I thought this one was gonna be heavier, and that is totally not the case. Now. This Ibanez, as far as playing it, is actually quite easy to navigate for me. It could just be because I've been playing it for so many years, but actually it's not a bad instrument at all. Like it really does, in my opinion, get the job done. It's not difficult to navigate. However, after playing the Victor Baker, it is immediately obvious to me that it is a lot more seamless to play this instrument. Somehow my fingers move across it with much more ease, which to me is something that is a markable difference. So which one do I like better? And to be clear, neither Ibanez or Victor Baker are sponsoring this video. This is purely my opinion after playing both of these instruments quite a bit. Georgia, which one of these guitars do you like better? Do you like this one better? Or do you like, like this one better? This one or this one? Here, bl bl blink once if you like this one. Blink once. Yep, that, yep, I, yep, I kind of agree with you. So for me, it's not really even a competition. The Victor Baker is a far superior instrument. So if we're asking ourselves, does paying a lot of money, like $6,000, which is a significant investment for anybody, is it worth it? The answer to me is yes, 100% in my personal opinion, because this instrument is incredibly fun to play, it sounds great, and it looks absolutely incredible. And keep in mind, I'm a professional musician, so this is an investment in my career. And one more other thing to mention, this truly is what I would call my dream guitar, right? So this isn't an instrument that I will ever buy again. I will never buy another instrument that is quite like this instrument. It was custom made, took nine months for it to get here. It's just not, again, my thing to buy more guitars and more stuff, not in my character. So this is like a one-time thing for me. And it's something that, again, truly adds value to me as a professional musician. But now the really important question that this video is really about, and that is, do you need an expensive instrument or a high quality instrument to become a great jazz musician or to improve quicker? And let's just go over a few facts really quick. On my Ibanez, I have logged thousands and thousands of hours. I've played hundreds and hundreds of gigs. Like I said, I became a professional jazz musician using that instrument. I achieved a high level of playing and proficiency using the Ibanez. So do you need a high quality instrument to play music well? The answer is absolutely no. But does it help to have a high quality instrument? Absolutely yes. To use a different example, when I used to play the tenor saxophone in the high school jazz band, I had a student model saxophone. And so years later, when I wanted to sell it to buy my then girlfriend, now wife, a ring, I brought it to someone who was interested in refurbishing it and fixing it up. And he owned a Mark VI, a Selmer Mark VI tenor saxophone. He allowed me to play both instruments so I could see what they felt like. And the difference between the Selmer Mark VI and the student model tenor saxophone was completely different, like leakage of air. It was way, way harder to play the student model saxophone than it was the Mark VI. So the ease of which you're able to play an instrument will reduce the friction of being able to produce the music that you want to. But again, that doesn't necessarily need to stop you at all from achieving the technical ability that you want to achieve. It just simply reduces the friction. Now, another point is it's way more motivating to play a nice, instrument that is really enjoyable to play and yes, even looks really nice. And it does inspire you to want to play your instrument more, which we all know is the only way to really get better at playing your instrument is simply by practicing. In fact, I was having a conversation with Victor Baker before doing this video, and this is a quote that he said to me. He said, I always say the player is 80% the sound of my guitars. A developed player can do just fine on almost any guitar, but a pro instrument makes it way easier and a great guitar is more inspiring to play. So if 80% 
of the way you sound on your instrument has to do with you and only you yourself, I would highly recommend not letting the barrier of buying an expensive instrument, if that's your particular situation, or the thought that you need to buy one in order to play better, get in the way. Really make sure that you can play your instrument really well and know that you can achieve a really high level proficiency no matter what instrument you are playing. So now that you know it doesn't matter what instrument you play, you can still play jazz at a high level, let's get to work. Click on the video on the screen right now and I'll show you how to go from beginner to intermediate to advanced jazz player. I'll walk you through each and every step of how exactly to move up and improve and it has nothing to do with what instrument you play. So go ahead and click that video on the screen right now. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.